Hello and welcome to this introduction video for the Blue Sky Learning module around communication and empathy. This is the second module as part of the series and the intention is that you will have completed the first sequence of sessions for communication and empathy one before you head into this one. But uh, for the next two or three minutes I'll give you a quick taster of what this module is all about. My name is Joanne Lally. I'm a leadership coach and facilitator working for a global leadership organization called BTS, who've coached over 100,000 leaders, both one-to-one -one and in groups over the course of the last decade or so. And specifically today, I'm working for the not-for-profit arm of the business called BTS Spark, who work in the public sector, in education, in the NHS. And we've coached over 10,000 leaders in education and really happy to be able to share some of the content with you over the course of this module around the really important, important leadership topics of communication and empathy. Now, if you've listened to the first module, you'll know that the impetus for these modules comes from some research undertaken by Professor Rob Klassen of the University of York, who did a study on some of the non-cognitive attributes or psychological psychological attributes that contribute to the effectiveness of teaching and of course also applies to the effectiveness of leadership and one of the skill sets that was identified was that of the ability to communicate powerfully and to empathize and build deep trusting relationships and connections with other people so the second set of sessions here for this second module links into three areas and we'll dive deeper into three areas that really will enable you to communicate more effectively, to build deeper trust and to be able to offer and receive feedback in a way that is helpful, that helps people to grow and to develop. The first session will look at how we really deepen our understanding of our own bias whether that's conscious bias that we know we have or uncovering some of the unconscious bias that we also all have. And this is important because when we're holding bias and judgment, it completely gets in the way of us being able to communicate effectively, to see and hear others well so that we build trust. And of course, the ability to empathize is diminished if we are holding bias or judgment. So we'll look at your own personal biases and the assumptions that you hold and how that can affect the way you lead, the way you teach, the actions that you take and the relationships that you have and then give you some insights into how you can manage and perhaps bust some of those biases so that you can help those around you to feel safe and connected and therefore able to lead them better and also teach better when we apply this to, of course, our students as well. The second session will look at how we build trust. It's uh, something that I'm sure we're all very conscious of and something we know really matters. But we're going to really unpick what trust means. We're going to look at some of the key elements that can build trust in relationships, but also the things that can erode trust. And then look at some of the key behaviours that you can employ as part of your teaching and leadership to really deepen the trust that you have with those that you work with, with those that you teach, so that you can unlock some real openness and honesty and transparency in those relationships, which will encourage better performance, engagement, motivation, and ultimately outcomes for the school or the trust. In the final session, we'll revisit the topic of feedback. We'll uh, remind you and recap on some of the skills that we shared in the the first module but also look at how you can become masterful in receiving feedback well and um, of course you know we're often taught how to give feedback but actually it's skill to receive it well so that we can integrate the feedback that we get into our leadership and teaching so that we continue to grow as leaders as well and of course role modeling how you receive feedback is helpful if you're trying to create a culture of feedback within your system so that's an exciting session and of course we will look to pull it all together in that third session as well. There will be as before pre-work before the second and third sessions which is really designed to start you thinking about what you've done and how you've employed some of the techniques that we've shared with you in the previous session. It will give you a chance to reflect on what's working and what's not and give you a taster of what's to come in the next recording. And there's also the fantastic offer of live support sessions. These are live sessions with a coach, a professional coach like myself, plus peers, 
where you can drop in and uh, discuss your learnings and insights. What's working? What's not working? What are you finding challenging? So that you can deepen your understanding and get some best practice from others in your sector as well. So you can sign up for those via the Blue Sky platform. So that's it for me for now. And I hope that's given you enough to whet your appetite and to join me on this second module for communication and empathy. Until then, goodbye.